Alrighty everyone, so we're back. It's Caleb with the Trifecta and this year we're going to be doing two different test kits from Ranch Ferry. We have the Apollo and the Orion. Um, the Apollo is a .204 diameter arrow and this is a .166. Um, we are running 100 grain insert outserts here with, well this is actually 175, but 200 grain tips is what we're going to be testing out today. Uh, this is going to be a 200 and a 250 spine arrow on the Orion and a 200 and 250, a 200 and a 250 air spine arrow on the Apollo. So we're going to be shooting through paper into the target. Um, kind of the best way to tell where your arrow is flying, whether it's flying like knock up, knock down, you know, sideways or anywhere else. Um, but we will have to do a little bit of adjusting to the arrow rest because I shot 0.246s with the Vulcans last year, so my rest is going to be slightly lower than it probably needs to be, which means most of these are probably going to fly slightly knock high, or very knock high at the beginning. Um, yeah, so just got these built up this week. They came in this week. Let's get going. Alrighty, we're going to start with the Apollos since they're going to be slightly closer to where the 0.246 diameter arrows with the Vulcans was so we're gonna start with the Apollos we're gonna shoot them label up so that way we know which way we're shooting them each time and yeah here we go first shot let's see how it goes all right so these are the 250 spine arrows that one looks like it was flying knock high we'll try again here I didn't pull that arrow out, so. Take a look. Yeah, I would assume, I would assume with these, they're flying knock high. These are a little high here, so. Good penetration though. Brand new target last year. See if it lasts this year. <laughs> All right, so just shot the 250s. We're gonna switch over to 200s. Uh, on the slow-mo, they were actually carrying down into the right. It was knocked down into the right. So we're gonna shoot the 200s, see how they shoot, and then we'll make an adjustment and see if we can't get these guys uh, flying nice and true. Here's some dogs playing in the background. But we're gonna switch over to the Orions, which are the 0.166 diameter arrow. Um, we have a 100 grain insert with a 200 grain uh, tip. I don't think I explained it earlier, but I'm using 200 grains on all these because, because, uh, really. Anyway, I'm using 200 grain tips because that's the broadheads that I have from last year that I really liked. So to get the most accurate, I'm gonna try and use 200 grain. So, all right, we're gonna see how they fly. We're gonna start with 250. Filming all of it? Uh-huh. Figure you edit out what you don't want.
Let's take a look. Ready? So these two are the 250s. Those two there. Looks like they hit high and tore down right. This one is a 200 that looks like it tore straight right. And this one is a 200 that tore just quarter inch right. So we're going to shoot them again here and see what they do. Did you want to be in the video? Come here. You're good, you're bunny. Did you feel me? You're bunny. All right. All right, go, go. All righty. So we uh, did some shooting off camera just because... <laughs> Uh, just because it kind of gets boring seeing arrows shot over and over and over again. Um, as you can tell, we've done a little bit more shooting, but, and it's kind of hard to see here, uh, in the video, but we did 200 spine, uh, on the 166 arrow and the 250 spine on the 166 arrow, uh, 200 spine on the 204 arrow and the 250 spine on the 204 arrow. Um, judging from what these look like, we're going to say that I can either go with the 166 diameter arrow with the 200 spine or a 204 diameter arrow with the 250 spine. Um, funny enough, we actually just measured the arrow weights on both of those and these come within, what, 10 grains of each other. So... What I'm guessing is that bow really likes that 650 grain mark. Um, the arrows are a little bit longer than I think I'm gonna probably be running this year, so I am going to shorten them by about an inch, maybe inch and a half. Um, it may affect this a little bit, but I'm pretty confident with how tightly these are tearing. I mean, that's a quarter inch tear, and that's maybe a half inch tear on both of those. Um, with that, I really think we'll be pretty safe removing an inch. Um, yeah, so that was two days of work. I changed clothes, it's the next morning. So we're filming this inside because our neighbors were outside and talking and so we didn't want them in the background and they don't wanna be in the background of the video either. So we decided to come in next to Gavin's big old elk. Um, yeah, that was what, two years ago now? 2022. Yep, that was a fun year. We both got elk. He, he got an actual mount, and I did the Euro mount. But anyways, with this year, we're going to go, and these are the Orions, and these are the Apollos. The .166 are the Orions. The .204s are the Apollos. Um, I think I'm going to try and go with the Orion, which are the .166, just to go from completely the... 0.246 the Vulcans all the way down to their skinniest arrow which is the 0.166 so I am going to be shooting the 200 spine Orion this year so hopefully I can get the uh, process of building them up later this year we'll get that on film and we'll show you how we're doing anyways if you guys want like and subscribe and we'll be getting into the lull of summer Hopefully we'll put a few videos out on fishing or might even do shooting bows, just some update videos, kind of what you need to be doing over the summer to get ready for hunting season. So have a good day. Bye. Try to play it, but you're never gonna beat me Look the other way, what I'm doing ain't easy Bloody hands stain from the people who deceive me Muddy hands break through the chains, go free me